The British Museum prides itself on its collection of antiquities and artefacts from across the globe. From humble beginnings in 1753, the London attraction now draws six million visitors to its galleries each year. But as the size and scope of its acquisitions increased along with Britain's empire, so did the ethical controversies. Today, many countries are asking the British Museum to give their treasures back. The Moai statues of Easter Island are among the world's most iconic and mysterious monuments. But one culturally significant example sits in the British Museum's Welcome Gallery. This rare basalt sculpture was removed by a Royal Navy captain and gifted to Queen Victoria in 1869. Now the island's indigenous people have asked the government of Chile to help negotiate its return. The question is, would they be happy to accept a loan? That was the offer the museum made to Nigeria in June, when they demanded the repatriation of the Benin bronzes. Over 1,000 of these metal plaques were plundered from Benin City in 1897, after the British launched a punitive expedition against the African Empire in search of booty. And Nigeria has suggested it might be prepared to borrow them back. It's a different story for Greece, who won't accept anything less than the wholesale return of the Elgin marbles. The relief sculptures, which once adorned the Parthenon and other buildings on Athens Acropolis, were taken by Scottish nobleman Lord Elgin at the start of the 19th century. At the time, he obtained permission from the Ottoman authorities who occupied the country, but the Greeks have always dismissed that as a dodgy deal. And far from just being conducted by scholars and politicians, the debate is taking place online. Indians have recently taken to Twitter to demand the return of cultural monuments, like this sandstone sculpture of Harihara, dating back around 1,000 years. It was taken from a Hindu temple by a British collector in the East India Company, and auctioned off after his death in 1828. Unlike French President Emmanuel Macron, who supports the idea of returning historical artefacts to former French colonies, the British Museum refuses to budge. They argue that emptying European institutions of their colonial treasures simply doesn't work. For a start, disentangling rightful ownership isn't always possible. Moreover, lots of museums are prevented from deaccessioning objects by UK law. It seems this is a moral debate that won't be buried for some time. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.